Hi, and welcome to another Movie Magic Budgeting Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Stephen Kinchelik, and in this video, I'll be going over budget, headers, and footers. Now, here's the situation. I started a new show, and I used a budget from a previous show that I worked on. Now, I entered all the information into my budget and changed everything, but then when I go to print it out, I noticed that it's got the title and all the assumptions from the previous budget that I worked on. So I needed to update all of that, and here's how I did it. Okay, so when I first print out my budget, this is what it looked like. It had the old title and uh, a lot of the old dates and assumptions that I had on my top sheet and uh, throughout the report. And so I wanted to change this information, so I went ahead and closed this. And you go up to File, Print Setup, and in the Print Setup window, window, you'll see this Edit, Header, and Footer. If I click on that, there's two options, the Top Sheet Only and the Report. The Top Sheet Only obviously only affects the Top Sheet, and then the Report affects all the pages of the Report. So first I'll click on Top Sheet Only, and as you can see, this is where a lot of those assumptions uh, were put in. And on the left, I have all these dates uh, and at the top, I have uh, some information, including the budget title. And you'll notice that uh, the budget title just says BT. And what that is, is it's basically some interpreted text that I would get from being able to click on this insert text box. And there's lots of options in here that allow you to put in information that can get updated automatically, such as the current date and current time, application version number, budget number, all that information, including the budget title. So I had just clicked on budget title and it puts that BT here. Now where it gets the budget title is, let me show you that real quick, is this area called the budget info. It's a little known area uh, that a lot of people skip over, but it's really handy. And here you can put in the budget title, the budget number and revision number, and it gives you some great information about the current file name, the previous file name, when it was last updated. And then you can also put in uh, some additional assumptions in here. So if you can't fit all your assumptions on the top sheet, and I'll show you why in just a second, you can put some additional stuff in here, such as you know 25 days on stage, 25 days on location, uh, stuff like, you know, uh, based on 12-hour days, you know, all that kind of information and, and you know, whatever you, else you want to put in here that you can't fit. So let me go back uh, into the print setup, and I'll go back to the top sheet only, and I'm going to go ahead and update a lot of this information. Okay, so I've updated a lot of the information here just by clicking here and edit, editing it. And you can also click on footer to get to the footer and update some of this information. So let's say you want to put in here printed on, and then I'm going to click on insert text, say current date at current time. And I'll update that with a current date and time whenever you go to print it. And then click OK. And over here it has the budget revision number. And now I'm going to click on Edit Report Header and Footer. And right now I'm on the header, as you can see by the radio button over here. And up here it just has the page number up at the top, which I'm going to leave alone. I'm going to go back down to the footer. And I'm also going to add in here Printed on current date at current time. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go back to the header, and in the center, I'm going to put in the budget title. So at the center and the top of each page, it's going to have the budget title. I'm going to click OK. Now let's go ahead and take a preview of this. And notice over here, I've got the budget information checked. So when I print this out, the budget information will print at the end of the budget. So I'm going to go ahead and click Print Preview. Let me zoom in here a little bit. And as you can see, it's got all the uh, updated information. Over here, all my assumptions are updated. And down here, you know, it's got the budget revision number and printed on and the current date and time. And as you can see, also it printed the title of the budget on each page and here's the page number and so then if I scroll all the way down to the bottom of the budget 
on the last page you will see the budget information report and it has all the information of uh, that I had in here including all the additional assumptions that I put in now again the reason why I put the additional assumptions down at the bottom is that up here in the header and top sheet only you're only allowed 11 lines at the top of the top sheet so uh, I've already taken up those 11 lines so if I hit enter one more time it's gonna give me a warning saying that only 11 lines are allowed so it's just reminding you of that and so if you need to exceed those 11 lines a great place to put it is in the remarks section of the budget info so that saved me the embarrassment of handing in the budget with all the wrong information at the top do you have any ways that we can save you some embarrassment or some situations that you'd like to see covered? Send your feedback to budgetingbeta at entertainmentpartners.com. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page so you can get updates on all the new videos that we add. You can also follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash movie underscore magic. And be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. Thanks for watching. <laughs>